<laughs> Hi. <clears throat> Take a nap with me. Come on. Take a nap with mommy. Oh, my Starla. Where's your collar? Hmm? How come you don't wear your collar anymore? <clears throat> guys so it's been a busy day today um what did i do today <clears throat> unfortunately i wasn't able to film the first half of today um i got up around 7 30 and made um a quick breakfast for hubs and i and then i had to be at the dmv around 10 like 10 20 um and so that was fun <laughs> luckily i have a uh, i had an appointment so i didn't have to wait like in that crazy line i was able to just kind of go behind like four or five people and i was the whole trip probably took about an hour my eye is really red and itchy and irritated <laughs> um it's just dry and like patchy like it's a eczema patch so if you're wondering what that is and of course i get to have that on my new photo for my um driver's license so that's gonna be fun i have to remember to look here and not here <laughs> um and so uh, we were at the dmv for about an hour um so then we Went home, I dropped my hubby off so that he can go back to sleep because he literally got off work this morning. Um, <clears throat> and then I went to the grocery store and that took about an hour, 45 minutes. Um, it was busy, it was packed because it was like later in the day. Usually I like to go to the market earlier in the morning um, to beat the traffic, but that didn't happen today. So did that. Came home, kind of just like sat around. My hubby was asleep. I didn't really want to make too much noise to like wake him up. So I wanted him to be able to sleep. And then um, I got really dizzy. Like I was feeling really dizzy and like needed to eat something. And <coughs> I think it was just like like all of the, the running around and stuff that we did. Um, like within the last few hours and then just being hungry and also I think I'm just I feel like I'm coming down with something like I you know like that feeling when you know you're gonna get sick um I have that feeling and I'm trying to like push that away like push those thoughts away because I really don't want to get sick um but I feel exhausted like tired and then my body hurts like my just it's like my joints ache and just my body aches so I'm hoping I'm hoping hoping it doesn't turn into anything um, cause I really don't want to get sick, but we'll see. So I'm here in bed cause it's cold <laughs> and, um, I think I'm just going to go down for a nap. I don't, I think Starla left me. She was, she was on the bed with me earlier. Um, so probably just go down for a nap and then see how I feel after. And if I feel up to doing some readings and whatnot, I bought like when I was at the market, I bought stuff to um go to go to make um 
chicken soup, homemade chicken soup. So <clears throat> I might be doing that maybe. Hmm. I thought about doing it tonight, but I think I'm going to wait. Maybe I'll do it. <clears throat> I can always prepare it early in the day because I work. I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So the next day I could really make it would probably be Friday. And this way my hubby can enjoy some. But we'll see. We'll see if I do that. I've just been craving noodle, like chicken soup. And um, I know like that's something good to eat when you're not feeling well or if you're catching a cold. So I figured that might be something good to eat. So delicious. Like... I love it. <laughs> um, other than that, today was today was boring, you guys. Like, I thought about putting the camera on while I was like running errands and at the market, but I'm just like that. That stuff isn't fun. Um, I've been tuning into a couple other vlogmas people who are doing vlogmas and um one girl has already been doing like christmas festivities she's already gift wrapping and stuff and i'm like i don't even think i'm gonna have gift wrapping i think one day i'm gonna go out maybe i'll go to um to ross and pick up some like little items because what i plan on doing for my mom and my sister is doing just like stocking stuffer type of gifts and then like one massive like gift card or a massive just like giving them money so they could spend whatever they want on it <laughs> um but I'm thinking of doing like a stocking stuffer kind of a gift for them and um because those are easy and those are fun like makeup and nail polishes and like I got them fuzzy Christmas socks and um just like little knickknacks that we love you know their favorite snacks their favorite candies and stuff so I think that would be kind of fun just to do that for my mom and my sister. I thought about doing the same thing for my dad, but I'm kind of like, what what fun things could I pack into his stocking? <laughs> so we'll see. Um, this coming week is an easy week. It's I'm only working three days, and then I'm off for the four days for the weekend. So that's kind of nice and um looking I'm looking forward to that man I'm like looking at my the, myself in the camera my eye looks so bad it's kind of embarrassing because it's like anyone that's looking at me is like does she have a black eye like what happened to her <laughs> but I'm hoping it clears up like it feel like it's just keep it keeps going up and up like it at first it started lower than the crease and then it's just been like gradually going up at this this whole patch right here is just scaly and itchy so I've been putting Neosporin on it to heal it and then um because it cracks and then it feels like paper cuts so I've been putting Neosporin on it and then I've been putting um um what's it called <laughs> I can't think right now Vaseline because um you could put Vaseline near the eye it's good it's it's okay I was like looking it up because you want to be careful like you don't want to put something on your eye that can you can get in your eye and so Vaseline is okay it's safe um and the Vaseline like moisturizes it because it gets really dry so right now it feels kind of dry like I feel like I need to put some more on <laughs> but it just gets really itchy when it cracks so I can't wait till that heals up I've had this for like two weeks maybe more when I had the dry stuff on this side and then under my nose it, it, it lasted for a good while like ugh, for a long time it's just eczema like a flare-up I guess you could call it oh it's so cozy under the blanket <clears throat> so you guys um we'll see maybe I'll I wanted to organize my TCM room Oops, I don't want to like cover the little thing. Um, I wanted to organize the TCM room, so we'll see if I if I go in there today. Um, I'll throw the camera on, or when I'm cooking dinner or something, maybe I'll throw the camera on so you guys can have a little bit more than just this. <laughs> but I apologize, my my day today was literally just standing in line at the DMV and grocery shopping. That's all it's been so far, so. And then, of course, me napping so I can get some rest because I just feel so tired. I just feel, like, exhausted and achy. 
Ugh, I hope I'm not I hope I'm not getting sick though. That would fucking suck. <sighs> Starla. Come here, Starla. Is she on the bed? I don't think she's on the bed. Come here, Starla. Anyways, I will touch base with you guys. Oh, here she is. Hi. Where are you? Come here. Come here. Come here, stars. Come here. Where are you? Starla. Come here. She doesn't want to be next to me. <laughs> All right. Come here. Come here. You're such a love bug. She's such a love bug. There you are. You like to cuddle. Do you like to cuddle with mommy? Hmm? So pretty. You're so pretty, my Starla. You got so big. How come you don't wear your collar? Hmm? Why do you take it off? I love your colors. Look at your fur. Look at your colors. I like her patches. She has a patch there. She also has one on her belly, on her armpit, on her armpit, and then on her stomach. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Guys, so I'm going to come back in here and straighten out a little bit. I might move the desk back over here, but I don't know yet. But I have such a mess. I have stuff everywhere. Ah! <laughs> I can't stand it when my um my room gets messy because then I don't want to be in it. So hubby picked me up a frappuccino at Starbucks, even though it's cold. <laughs> so that was nice of him. And I don't know where he's at. I think I can hear him. I think he's in the garage. Yes, chocolate. Mmm. What are you. Hey! What are you doing? I'm just trying to add. Close the door! I'm just trying to add some stuff to my vlog. Oh, can you my boots? No. Oh, fancy, fancy. Yeah, I guess. Why do you do it in here? Because it smells? No, because it's uh, warm in here. Oh, that's true. It's cold. <laughs> so he's doing that. <laughs> um, he never turns on the Christmas tree, you guys. Like, that's always something I always do. Bugs, how come you never turn on the Christmas tree? Because I'm not making it. Oh my gosh. But the Christmas tree is supposed to be on all the time. No, then that's how it catches fire. Oh, it's not going to catch fire. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, guys. So, let's go to the TCM room. Come on, Starla. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. I'm going to set you guys down and turn on the light in here. Oh, the heater feels so good. <laughs> I could probably get away with opening the windows too for some lighting. So, <laughs> I really want to, I really want to organize this space. Um, I feel so congested right now. <laughs> So, one thing I guess I could show you guys, hopefully that doesn't fall, um, uh, is the bookshelf. <laughs> There's so much happening with this bookshelf. Um, so I obtained, and I should have probably not have done it, but I obtained some tarot books from the donation bins at work. Um, one of them being the Holistic Tarot, but I already own a copy. <laughs> so 
Um, I don't need to, and I really, really, really want to do a giveaway for this one because this one is actually um, a library copy. Um, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> um, but I really, really, really want to do a giveaway. The only downside about the giveaway is that this would be a shit ton of money to mail out because it's so big and heavy. So I don't know. I would have to find out how much shipping would be to, um, to ship this sucker. <laughs> Um, but maybe I'll do a giveaway one of these days for the tarot book. I also obtained tarot fundamentals. This wasn't a donation bin, you guys. I hadn't even cracked it open, but it just goes through all of the cards and tarot experience. This was also in the donation bin. Who would donate this? Who would just get rid of it? Like who? So there's a lot of a lot of stuff in here. I have, like I said, I haven't even looked through this stuff. Um, so obviously I'm gonna keep those two, but I need to make room on my shelf. And then I'm kind of like maybe instead of trying to squeeze everything in on this little bookshelf, maybe it's time I upgrade to a bigger bookshelf. <laughs> um because I have so many books and I still, I think I still have one more box in the garage. Um, but I really, really want to like put these books away because it just drives me crazy having them. So this entire middle shelf with the exception of like these books over here is all astrology. All of this is tarot and then this is more of like witchcraft and like the moon cycles, like pretty much like a, a plethora of everything else. But this is all tarot. Um, I definitely am going to do something with this. but So that doesn't have to go on the bookshelf. But everything else, like these big old things, I don't know. I could probably squeeze them in. I bet you they would fit. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, nope, they're not going to fit. I guess I could just go like this for now just to get them out of my hair because um, I, I having like the books piled on the floor just drives me crazy. Like I just feel like it looks so messy. And then, you know, a messy, a messy bookshelf equals a messy room and it just takes away from the, the vibe. So yeah. And then I have like my pillows, my little, uh, <laughs> I had this one on the couch. I guess I could put this one back on the couch if I wanted to, but I have like a little meditation space over here where those pillows are. So I figured like that's where I would sit to meditate. <laughs> and then eventually get, I want to get like a love seat type of a thing to put right there. And then all of that stuff has to, I got to organize that. So let's go over there. Also, um, Please, oh, please don't mind my, I just feel, I'm starting to feel congested and like, obviously I'm out of breath because I'm moving around, but hopefully that's not annoying. <laughs> okay. So, the next set of books, <laughs> so let me show you guys these books. So these were like, ugh. These were all donated literally the same day. I think it was, oh, I think it was literally the same person that donated these books. So, oh, look at my, check out my leggings. Okay. Um, <coughs> I think it was the same person that, did, that donated all of these books. And um, I just thought it was so cool. So, Cosmic... Cosmic Explorers, Scientific Remote Viewing, Extraterrestrials, and a Message for Mankind. Aliens! <laughs> um, the Day After Roswell. Freaking love it. Preparing for Contact, a, metam a Metamorphosis of Consciousness. 
even if it's like I never read these, just the, the way the books look, like the covers and stuff, freaking love that. <laughs> so I have more books to add to my Alien collection. Secret Places of the Lion. <laughs> the Star Sea Transmissions, an extraterrestrial report. This one is, um, let me see. I think it's channeled messages. I want to say it's channeled, like someone channeled um, extraterrestrials and wrote what their experiences were. Transformation, the breakthrough. So this one um, is the author of Communion, which I have. I think my alien books are on the on that bookshelf. Um, so I have the Communion one, which is the story, like literal true stories of um, alien contact and whatnot. And then this is like another part to it. So if I ever read Communion, which I started reading it and then I stopped. Um, if I ever read that one, then I'll have something else to read too. And then this is the saucer speak calling on, calling all occupants of interplanetary craft. So I just thought that these were cool. I mean, I like aliens and I just thought that these were so fun. Um, I didn't want to, I didn't want anyone else to have them. So, <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to take them. And um, my coworkers had set them aside for me because they knew that that was like, part of my thing and like they were like oh you're gonna like it so that's kind of oh there's communion let me my alien books are over here cool so then maybe i can play with this bookshelf <clears throat> sorry guys i'm trying to trying to do this okay all these weird angles um so this is communion that's the one that i was starting to read and then I never finished it. So maybe one of these days. But all of my alien books are here with my mermaid books. But now that I have more alien books, I'm like, am I gonna need a different shelf? I think it is about time that I get, um, hi, hi Starla. I think it is about time though that I get another bookshelf. I think I, think I could use the space, but. Uh, Looking at how it looks. <laughs> so I have all my alien books here, but I could probably move them down here um, at the bottom here. I just have to move some stuff around. So I like to categorize them. So I have like, oops, I have my alien books and then I have vampires. I have mermaids and then I have zombies. So I have them all kind of like categorized that way. So, uh, let's see what I could do. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm a weirdo though. Like, <clears throat> sometimes I literally love playing with my books, just like trying to rearrange and like make them look really cute. I don't even know. Oh my God, sorry you guys for all the moving. I didn't mean to make it so dizzy. Well, that's like not a very good view. <laughs> but, oh well. <clears throat> oh. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to have room. Oh, well, I may have to just make do. <laughs> like this whole series can go back over here.
Oh, maybe I could double it. I'll go like this. Well, and actually, no, because these are bigger. <laughs> oh, no! I don't have space. Some of these books are too big. Oh boy. <laughs> That'll do for now, I guess. <clears throat> Let me put this here so I can talk to you guys. Are you gonna stay? Are you gonna stay? Probably not, because this thing. So, um. Well, that wasn't that bad. I mean, this can be shoved somewhere else. I guess my room isn't as dirty as I was thinking it is. Hang on. I guess I could shove it there for now just to get you out of my way. These books over here, um, I need to donate. So I gotta make sure I do that. I have an extra one of those. <laughs> so I'm gonna take those to the library to get rid of those guys. These two. Well, I don't really want to get rid of these, but okay. <laughs> well, that's not that bad. Like the rest of the room is clear. I need to get rid of that box. So that box was like left over from when we when I moved all my junk in here <laughs> and then I'm just using it as like a massive trash can but I think when I do some more deep cleaning of like my closet space and stuff then I can just get rid of the box altogether because I really don't need that there um and yeah Ugh. so it's not that bad I just can't decide where I want to put the table. Like my little my little desk that I use to read my readings and stuff, to do my readings. I don't know if I want it like, I used to have it where my back was facing the red wall. And then I got tired of the red wall being in my background and my videos and stuff. And the, the lighting, even though it was like right next to the window, the lighting still sucked. So I was like, oh, so then I moved it. <laughs> so then I moved my desk where the back of me was like against the the closet. And now I have it where it's in the corner over there. So I feel a little bit kind of like claustrophobic in the corner. So I might end up moving it again over here just to save some space until, um, until I get myself a new setup. Um, I would love a new desk, um, a bigger, like a longer desk. <clears throat> so I have more space when I'm doing the readings because I'm finding that I pull so many cards and I use so many decks at a time for a reading that I don't have enough space on the camera <laughs> to show the whole table. And so I really, really, really need to expand on my desk space and so that desk has got to go um, and just get myself a new one. And I would like maybe a white desk um a white tabletop desk thing because white will look so pretty on Instagram pictures for like the daily messages that I read that I do or like um just to add some brightness to the pictures because right now like that desk is like a dark it's like a a fake wood but it's dark hi starla and um and it just bugs me after a while I'm like it's too dark so I'm thinking like a white desktop would be pretty. You're getting into trouble, huh? Are you getting into trouble? So yeah, so I'm definitely in the, in the the ballpark for a new desk and a new laptop, you guys. Like that's something else that I want to purchase before the end of the year is a new laptop, which I think I'm going to do that next weekend. <laughs> I was going to try to do it today for Cyber Monday, but... I just wasn't seeing anything that I liked. And I just don't like the idea of it being shipped and all that stuff. Like I would rather go to the store, pick it up and have it with me. Um, so I just, 
I think I'm just gonna go to the store. I, I got my last laptop at Costco. So I think I'm just gonna do that again. Um, I don't need anything fancy. It's just basically what I use for my website. <laughs> And I really want to start blogging and like doing more with the website once I'm done working at the day job. So once I'm no longer working there, I plan on like blogging more and just doing more with the Cackling Moon website. And um, I'm going to need a working laptop. So that's why I got to pick one up before the end of the year so I could use it as a tax write off for this year. So got to do that. And if I could pick up a new desk, that would be awesome too. Um, I also forgot I had these. So I have some photos, like pictures to hang up. I had this one up in my room. It says, blessed be the garden, blessed be the home, blessed be our hearts and minds wherever they roam. So I used to have this hung up in my, um, in my apartment. And then I have all of these little signs. So this was a Halloween purchase last year I think <laughs> and then I also have the same thing with this one it lights up I don't think I have batteries in this though but oh yeah there's no batteries but it lights up little crystal ball and then I also have this sign this one says shine bright like the stars so I want to put these on the wall and just dress up the room a little bit more but I haven't gotten around to it. Like I say I want to do all these things and I just, the, it's a matter of finding the time and patience to do it. And then also bugging my husband to do it for me because I just, I don't know how to do the hanging up stuff on the wall unless I use like those sticky things, but <laughs> I prefer to ask him to do it. Um, What else? I think that was all the books that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I thought I had more to clean in this room, but it's actually not that bad now that I'm like here. I really like the idea though of, let me see, make sure you guys can see. I really love the idea of having a little meditation spot right there. <laughs> so anytime I want to just like sit down and meditate, put on some music, lean up against the wall so I'm comfortable. And yeah, okay, so the only do thing I really do need to clean up is this mess. Those boxes I actually use, that's what I use to balance the camera <laughs> when I'm like filming a YouTube video. And then like that mess over there is like all of my tarot books and journals and my astrology stuff. So I gotta find a new home for those. But I think once I clear that stuff out and get rid of that nasty box, um, this room will look a lot better, so. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? What do you think, Starla? Hmm? <laughs> She's so nosy. Ugh. Okay, let me get up. So, today wasn't that bad. I mean, I guess like not all was lost. I wasn't feeling good earlier though, but I'm feeling a little bit better now. Um, but I guess not all was lost. Like I felt, I literally felt like today was a waste after doing like the whole DMV thing, you guys. But um, it's not that bad. Like I looked at the clock right now, it's like four. I think it's gonna be four. So I just plan on putting together some spaghetti for dinner before my hubs has to go to work. And then I'm gonna watch another Christmas movie on Netflix. Um, I should do a reading. Maybe I'll do a reading right now for a client. And then, um, and then just like, wait till it's time to make some dinner and then make dinner with the hubs. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm gonna go film a video reading since it's not, since there's still some nice light in here. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, thank you for tuning in to another Vlogmas. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you continue watching through the rest of this month. Anything, any requests that you guys have of things that are topics you wanna see me talk about or things that you wanna see um, in the this vlogmas time, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Bye, loves. <laughs>